Picture yourself in the center of another world, a place replete with meaning which transports us to other ways of being in the world and how that world was understood and represented. First identified in the 1980s, the site was rediscovered in 1996 after Spuran acquires the estate of Perdigões to extend its vineyard plantation. Since then, Air Archaeologia has been responsible for all archaeological investigation at the site. The Perdigões archaeological complex is a 16-acre enclosure of concentric ditches dug into the rock built and inhabited for around 1,500 years, between 3,500 and 2,000 BC. Perdigões was set in the natural amphitheatre open to the east and the rising sun, with entrances pointing towards the sunrise at the time of summer and winter solstice. This might have been a space of socialization connected to the sacred and not just somewhere used for everyday life. A place where life experienced death and where the way the human body was treated initially surprised and then amazed us. Twenty years of continuous excavation and research at Purdigoinsh have made it into one of the focal points for the discussion of recent prehistory in Europe. Hundreds of artifacts of great archaeological value made of ivory, gold and other exotic materials have been unearthed since 1997. Several funerary structures with thousands of human remains provide the basis for new lines of research focused on the study of mobility of people, animals and objects, which helps support the idea of Perdigões as the centre of a world. Perdigões ended as mysteriously as it started. After 1,500 years of intense experience of life and death, the reasons for this collapse are still unknown. Sudden climate changes in the turn to the second millennium may have played a role. <laughs>